uh, determine the intensity of shear of an oil having viscosity one pois the oil is used for lubricating the clearance between a shaft of diameter 10 cm and its general bearing the clearance is 1.5 mm and the shaft rotates at 150 rpm so guys first we have to understand that uh, what is given in the question what we have to find it and uh, uh, what is the solution so first uh, uh, first statement is determine the intensity of shear so we have to find the intensity of shear okay which is denoted by tau okay tau formula we know okay we have uh, you, uh, you already use the this equation okay so uh, yeah, we have to find the intensity of shear okay let's see what is given viscosity is given is equal to 1 pois okay uh, and uh, diameter the oil is used for lubricating the clearance between a shaft of diameter there is a shaft of 10 cm diameter and its general bearing okay clearance between a shaft of diameter 10 cm and 10 cm and its general bearing the clearance is 1.5 mm and the shaft rotates at 150 rpm okay so uh, first uh, uh, just uh, let's see the diagram of this okay uh, so guys you can see this diagram okay so the this portion this highlighted portion okay uh, this uh, in the uh, in the color uh, sketch pen okay this highlighted portion is is a uh, shaft okay shaft or journal rotating so this is the rotating shaft or uh, it's a journal okay uh, you can pronounce by both or shaft or journal okay uh, and this uh, this is highlighted by pen okay highlighted uh, this area is known as clearance this area is known as clearance area okay uh, this uh, uh, is the lubricant applied the uh, lubricant applied okay in the clearance this first of all this area is known as clearance and in this area lubricant is applied okay uh, for proper friction of uh, uh, to reduce the friction like uh, purpose of the uh, like this area is known as clearance and lubricant is applied to reduce the friction wear and tear heat generated etc okay uh, so uh, this area uh, just remember that this area is known as a clearance area and in the clearance area we have to uh, we have to apply the lubricant okay to uh, proper to function smoothly okay and this the this is marked uh, marked by black pen this area is known as a bearing okay uh, this is a journal and this is a bearing this is the clearance area okay a uh, journal or shaft okay this is a bearing of uh, uh, this is a bearing journal bearing or shaft bearing it is fixed at one place uh, this is a non movable part okay this is not moving okay it is a fixed in one place okay uh, only this uh, shaft this the uh, this area is moving okay this area is moving this area is fixed and the between this area it's a lubricant applied so that uh, there is a proper uh, uh, proper function of the rotating shaft uh, so first uh, just let's see about the shaft what is given shaft of diameter 10 cm okay this is the diameter 10 cm diameter is it is a rotating component that transmit power or motion within a uh, machine it is connected to motors to drive the mechanical equipment okay uh, journal bearing okay this uh, just uh, uh, not confuse in this uh, this is known as journal or shaft okay and this the top uh, uh, marked in the black pen this area is known as bearing it is fixed in one place it's in one location journal bearing it supports and guide a rotating shaft okay support the rotating shaft working so uh, just understand the working uh, uh, working of this okay what is what is given in the question that the bearing provides a stationary support surface okay this is the bearing okay this is the bearing okay this uh, provides a stationary uh, support uh, uh, stationary support surface that allows the shaft to rotate smoothly with minimal friction okay with minimal friction okay uh, this is the clearance area okay this is the rotating shaft clearance area and this is the bearing okay that allows the shaft to rotate smoothly with minimal friction the shaft moves within the bearing okay the shaft moves in the bearing and the thin film of lubricant uh, is applied between them prevents direct contact reducing wear and 
फ्रिक्शन ओके सो इन द क्लियरेंस एरिया आ लुब्रिकेंट इज अप्लाइड ओके टू फंक्शन स्मूथली एंड टू रिड्यूस द वेर एंड फ्रिक्शन जर्नल ओके दिस इज अ जर्नल और शाफ्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द रोटेटिंग शाफ्ट इज नोन एज अ जर्नल ओके डेट्स आई हैव टोल यू डेट दिस एरिया इज अ शाफ्ट इट्स अ सेक्शन ऑफ द शाफ्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द शाफ्ट इज नोन एज अ जर्नल ओके सेक्शन ऑफ द रोटेटिंग शाफ्ट इज नोन एज अ जर्नल ओके दिस इज अ शाफ्ट एंड दिस इज अ सेक्शन ऑफ द शाफ्ट एंड दिस इज नोन एज अ जर्नल सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज इन जर्नल जर्नल वेरिंग ओके दिस इज द बेरिंग ऑफ द जर्नल दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ द शाफ्ट यू कैन से एंड दिस इज अ क्लियरेंस एरिया ओके एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ शेयर ओके द मेन थिंग वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ शेयर ओके डायमीटर डायमीटर इज गिवेन ओके एंड अपना विस्कोसिटी इज गिवेन ओके विस्कोसिटी बिटवीन द टू टू लाइक शाफ्ट एंड बेरिंग ओके द विस्कोसिटी इज गिवेन and we have to only find the uh, intensity of shear tau intensity of shear amount of shear force acting over a particular area in a material acting over a particular area in a material okay uh, uh, like in the shaft intensity of shear measured in terms of sigma stress which is force per unit area force per unit area, unit area. यूनिट विल बी न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर इट मेजर्स हाउ मच फोर्स इज अप्लाइड पैरल टू द मटेरियल लीडिंग टू डिफॉर्मेशन नाउ डिफॉर्ट इज मीन द डिफॉर्मेशन डिफॉर्मेशन इज लाइक दिस यू कैन सी दिस स्टील द वेन द फोर्स इज अप्लाइड द शेप एंड साइज विल चेंज ओके सो चेंज इन द शेप साइज और पोजिशन ऑफ अ मटेरियल इज नो दज नो ए द डिफॉर्मेशन ओके विस्कोसिटी Uh, understand the what is mean by viscosity is a measure of fluid resistance to flow viscosity is flu- uh, it describe how thick or thin of fluid is depending on how easily it flows when a force is applied okay uh, uh, also understand the lubricating okay means applying a substance called lubricant example oil between two surface to reduce the friction wear and heat generated when they move against each other so just this is only for the this is not a big theory you have to write this is only for the understanding purpose uh, so uh, if you confuse uh, just read this and you will understand all the terms okay so uh, the solution is uh, mu uh, the given what is given in the question mu uh, which is a viscosity is equal to 1 pois 1 by 10 newton per meter square okay it says per rule okay always always remember one thing uh, in any any uh, any of the numerical if one pois mu is equal to one pois okay one pois the value of one pois is 1 by 10 newton second per meter square diameter of shaft is given okay 10 cm uh, is equal to 0.1 meter uh, we have converted from cm to meter so to convert from cm to meter we have to divide by 100 okay 0.1 meter will come distance between the shaft and journal bearing okay dy 1.5 mm is given in the question diameter and journal with the clearance is 1 uh, 1.5 mm and uh, clearance is clearance is I, I i told you the clearance is yeah clearance is 1.5 mm so uh, in the diagram okay this uh, this area clearance area okay the uh, this thickness the uh, of the clearance a 1.5 mm is there okay this is a bearing and this is a shaft and the uh, the area uh, like uh, thickness is 1.5 mm between these two uh, these two things like uh, between shaft and bearing so clearance is given 1.5 mm okay between these two uh, uh, these two things So dy one one 1.5 mm is there 1.5 divided by thousand. Ah, uh, we have to convert from mm to meter. So 1.5 divided by thousand. Ah, uh, uh, we can write this as 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Ah, uh, this is the explanation. Just 1.5 divided by thousand is equal to one ah uh, 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3. So this uh, we can write thousand like this, and this uh, 10 raised to 3 will come up. So the here positive sign is there. Uh, when this will come up, the negative sign will appear. Okay. Ah, uh, I also read here if we if we take denominator to numerator, sign will change. Okay. If minus three is bottom, ah, uh, if we take up, so it it is ten is to plus three. 
okay uh, so just uh, this is not uh, this only for the explanation purpose if you get confused like uh, uh, with a power so you can just read you will understand to convert from mm to meter we have to divide by 1000 1.5 divided by 0.015 we can write this term as 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter okay so uh, we have converted like this speed of the shaft n is given 150 rpm 150 rpm is given speed of the shaft So uh, first we have to find the tangential velocity. Okay, uh, for uh, tangential velocity we uh, we must need to find the what is my tangent. So the the circle the top point touches uh, any uh, line to so it is known as the tangent. And tangential velocity is like uh, uh, from top. Okay, uh, this is the tangential velocity. Tangential speed of the shaft is given by u. U is equal to pi dn by 60. Why pi is fixed value 3.14 uh, is per rule. Okay, so this not uh, this will not change. Okay, this anywhere the pi will be 3.14. D is the diameter of the shaft, which is 100 uh, 0.1 meter, and n is the uh, uh, revolution per minute RPM. Okay, so we have to put this value 3.14 0.1 150 by 60. We have to divide. Put this in KLC. Okay, you will get this 0.75 uh, 75 meter per second. Okay, so uh, you have uh, we have got the tangential speed. Now using equation tau, we have to find this tau. Tau is known as the uh, intensity of shear. So mu du by dy <coughs> tau right like this uh, uh, one by ten newton second per mu and du is uh, du we have got uh, zero point seven five meter per second. Okay, and dy is one point five into ten to minus three clearance area. Okay, the clearance is given uh, here. The clearance one point five m. Okay, one point five m. So uh, clearance area is this. 1.5 10 to minus 3 we uh, write like this okay 0.75 10 okay uh, meter meter cancel second second cancel okay newton uh, newton per meter will come 1.5 divided uh, we can write this uh, term as like this so we have to divide so uh, we uh, we have got the intensity of shear the value is 52.33 newton per meter square okay this is the final and accurate value we have got if any uh, uh if any questions is there so please ask me in the comments